Everyone, it is time for the final part of Yuki's story. We're down to just, I think, two fights left against this dude, as well as, of course, the final boss himself. And there is a chance that we will take up some time okay. against the final boss. Let's get it against Taito. Move it! Uh. Now it's my turn. Alright. Let's see. I don't know what this guy's using, but I feel like I haven't played Nirvana in a while. So I'm gonna run with Nirvana. Let's get it. Let's get it. I'm gonna throw a paper and lose. It's fine. Here we go. Ooh. Alright, we got Mahar. We need Amelia in here too. We got Arx, Mahar, Esquel Idea, Retsuji. Oh yeah, this is a Tamayura player. Right, 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 right. Skipping the free fights? No, I'll just do them later. The free fights we do later, but they add way too much time to the to the videos, so I don't wanna bore people. Oh my god, we drew Amelia too. Okay, we have a good hand. Really good hand, actually. Draw from going second. Another Mahar, that's fine. And then we bash. Here we go. Nice. Early crit is beautiful. We love to see it. The more crits, the earlier, the better. If you go first, can you stride on first grade 3 turn without your opponent being grade 3? No, you cannot. No, you cannot. You have to spend a turn. You have to, like, start your turn on grade 3. So when you start your turn on the turn that you would ride into grade 3, you're still grade 2. Alright. 2 damage, the heal out of order, which means that it does not activate. Which is very good. Alright, the doll gets her back. Calls her out, calls two out. Okay, gonna draw. Which means no soul for the blitz order, which is good. Going way too ham, Jesus. Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna take that. Oh, does this give Vanguard plus power? Oh, grade three, grade of Vanguard. Okay, never mind, doesn't. I'll take this. Hit me a defensive. Ah, Milius. Fine, 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 fine. Okay. Ball disappear, position of hugging. Yeah, I see what you mean, I see what you mean. <laughs> My chat is very particular about the positioning of Riri Mirarabi on the field. They have to be in order, they have to be in the right position, blah blah blah. Uh, I think we can take this, so we're in heal range. We haven't seen any heals yet, so... I feel like we want to be in heal range. Arcs falling off isn't too bad. We can get the one we have in hand back with an SG, so that's okay. Oh no, the heal we drew. We can ditch the other Mahar, we're not gonna need it yet. Alright. Use Rino, call out the Trick Star. I do want to get some DSR Trick Stars down the line. And then we're gonna use Arcs to overdress into Turikusta. Matoi Turikusta! Into another Esperl idea. Cool. Alright, here we're gonna swing into the Vanguard and then see if we can sack hard. Here we go. Since there's Deer Day step, uh, fight in WGP Tokyo, will you bring your Switch? Okay, you know what? This OT? I don't mind. No, I don't think I'll bring my Switch to WGP Tokyo unless I'm, it's to play Pokemon. <laughs> unless there's some bonuses that they give. Alright, the OT coming out there, actually don't mind at all. Better get it over with. Alright, Tamuida comes down. Ooh, Barrier Digging is kind of annoying. It's gonna make everything good numbers. I think we take this one and then guard the rest. Try to hit defensive here. It's gonna be annoying if we don't. Ah, we don't. A bit unfortunate, but it's okay. We need a CB for later anyway, this is going to be 23 now. Oh, we give it to the back? Slightly irritating. And you have to start guarding that. I might have to take the Vanguard swing, and then guard the rears. Assuming it's going to be Iridi Mirarami. Yeah, okay, he has both. And he has enough soul to activate one of them too. If he puts my freaking arcs to the soul, I will be upset. Visibly. 
Better not. Better not. Okay, I don't think he is. That's the draw effect. Good. Okay, I'll take this. I'm gonna take this. Pray to not get double crit. Front is scary, but it's not too bad. These are 15k guards right now. As long as it's not like double front or something. Heal's fine because it doesn't activate. Heal's fine because it doesn't activate. If we hit a defensive here, then we can still guard both pretty easily. NBC placed them wrong. <laughs> Madge. Alright. We don't! Another Arx goes flying. Kind of unfortunate. Okay, this one's easily guardable. To be honest, I might actually need to guard this one too. This way we get the maximum amount of arenas in the drop as well for Esperl idea. Yeah, I think we do guard this. Can't afford to take too much damage at this stage. So here we discard whatever we draw, and then we just do Amelia Mahar, Aritsuji, double Esper idea, and then try to kill. Oh, we drew into the Varina, so we can't actually use the Ride Light anymore. That's my second copy. So that's fine. Don't activate. Use Amelia Chan. Can I the arcs? Put this into Soul. And then we see what this damage ping off of the Mahar is going to reveal. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 da -dum. All right, CB1. So I lost that out. Yeah, Mahar might be a bit hard against Tamayura. Because there's a tempo deck. All right, pull that out. Gets the crit on defense. Not the end of the world, though. You can still swing with the uh, Mahar buffs, it's fine. Alright, so here we're gonna call the Retsuji. CB1 for Retsuji. And then get the CB back. Yeah, we're gonna go for the double. The Muk double out here. We're gonna call one. And then overdress the other. And then this will eat up a bunch of overdresses from the, the drop. Alright. Let's get it. Let's battle. Swing. You don't have the soul to use your blitz yet. Now you do, which is annoying. I hope he doesn't. I might even have to... Mm. It is what it is. It's fine. He takes it. He takes it. No defensive. No, that's huge. That's huge. That's huge. That is indeed very huge. All right, both Esper ideas now activate. We get to stun both. Stun this one too. And that one's gonna get swole. No blitz order. Cool. Looks like he doesn't have it. He's actually. Okay, he's two to passing. He's two to passing this, which is pretty huge. Over trigger! Too strong! How is he so powerful at this game? Oh my god, the OT to victory. We can get even more restands now on the Esperl ideas, which is huge. Nice. Get OT, bro. And my hand resource too. Nice! Alright, that makes that a bit too big. But now this one can still hit, so that's fine. We'll restand the 43k one. And it's gonna... Does it gain the power again? Oh no, it's once per turn. Oh, the restand is once per turn. Period. Oh man! Oh man! Sucks, dude. The stands are once per turn. <laughs> that's sad. Well, let's hit some triggers. Ah, that doesn't activate. But this makes this hit, so that's fine. Wow. Those are pretty dry, but at least we have enough to survive now. Against whatever he has in stock for us next turn. We're honestly saved by the fact that he does not have the fox art. If he had the fox art, it would be... 
definitely over. <laughs> Alright, we're pushing down to two cards in hand. Doing what we can. Alright, we've made him guard with a bunch of good cards. So things are looking good so far. Things are looking good so far. Ooh, I got an achievement. Gale Speed Attacker. It's probably because I made like six attacks in one turn, I guess? That's pretty cool. Ooh, Persona Ride is pretty nasty. But, not too nasty. So there's gonna be four attacks we're dealing with. Not too bad, not too bad. Alright, get the Emilia's out. Should I use my Twitch Prime button? How? There should be, a, like, under the subscribe button, there should be a Twitch Prime at the bottom that you can check. Ooh, nice! Hearing out that front row. Very nice, very nice. And then tell me your effects. Cool, cool, cool. Hold them both out. And then gonna draw. Understandably so. And then we're gonna perfect guard this. We're still kind of yikes on shield value, to be honest, in hand. Like... Depending on how hard he sacks, we might still lose. Okay, he doesn't sack too hard, that's fine. Even if he checks like a front here, we're still fine. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow I saw that. Nah, no over trigger, dude. We Both players' OTs are out. Both of our OTs are out. Alright. So I lose all my hand with this, but... We survive just with exactly enough. Alright, cool. But did he check two triggers and like stacked it all in one unit? I don't know, even that would have been fine. Yeah, I was fine either way. That's good. Double, like, double front would have killed me, that's for sure. Alright, cool. Dun dun. Why don't I use the heals with effect? Because the ranked letter plus the story is just a, a, a pretty random. So you use heal with effect as a, as a way to kind of like negate, kind of like, it's, it's a meta call basically is what it is. Alright, let's boost on this side. Let's get going. Swoop. All right, gonna PG that already. Pretty impressive. So we're gonna use the crit here to make the grade one hit for a magic number. So this will be a 33k column later down the line. But the first attack we're gonna go without boosting. Ooh, drops the front. Alright, then we have double stand. Nirvana doing work in this game. Yeah, Tamayura is really good, dude. Tamayura is strong. And one. So, 33 and 43, I think, will be our remaining columns. While going crazy with these guards, yeah. We'll definitely be guarding with just intercepting, but chooses not to. Alright, one card PG. But I don't think he can block my last two. Just because it didn't intercept, basically, I think. Interestingly enough. Ooh, nice draw, nice draw. It's 33. So if he has a 28, then that actually blocks that. So let's make it unblockable. Cool. Yeah, with this, he cannot block both. If he has a 15k left in hand. Alright. Let's punch. 43 to face. No guard. I think I was right about the 15k in hand then. Alright, GG's. Nice. I didn't call final turn, but we got it anyway. Good stuff. Alright. That fight wasn't too hard? These two are usually pretty easy. I feel like Mika was the hardest so far. Gosetsu was pretty hard too. Oh, oh, oh. oh how useless. <laughs> Well, not that I expected anything out of you from the start. You're nothing more than my pawns, after all. As easily replaced as they come. Damn. What is this, zombie fighters? There's so many. What are you doing? Oh. Stop standing around and go already! We'll handle taking care of them. Damn, let's go! Obi-Wan with the Prime, let's go, I appreciate it! But... Just go already! Absolute victory requested! That's right, we can't have you losing to these guys, because we're gonna be the ones to take you down! Right, I wouldn't have it any other way. Damn, it's so anime. 
I love it. Yeah, they're just knocking dudes out. Left, right, and center. Ooh, we got MLB, let's go. It's my last copy of MLB as well. Nice. All right, this should be it. The final battle of Yuki's story. Let's get it. What should we play against Favreniel? He retires stuff, but he forces us to retire. So maybe Eva would be right. Eva feels pretty good for this. Tell me. Did Gosetsu ask you to do this? Honestly, I thought I'd taught you a lesson. That's not what this is. I'm here for my own sake. Gosetsu-san told me something. He said he regrets never teaching you what it meant to lose. <laughs> <laughs> return to Bob, return gotta be doing with what you started with? You know what? You might be right. He regrets it? Don't make me laugh. Regret from a coward like him who decided to run away? That's the kind of thought that only a selfish loser would have. I never ran. That's why I'm still undefeated. Why I always be undefeated. How could Gosetsu or even you understand that? <laughs> Take a look. This spectacle is reserved only for the victorious. Looking down on everyone from here, it's irresistible. Listen here. No good comes from losing. Not a thing. Damn, that's why he's so... He's got these tits, dude. It's crazy. Turns the strong into cowards. It makes you forget the taste of victory. It ruins your dreams. And it makes you run away and your chest huge. Winning is the only thing that matters. <laughs> I am revered. I can do however I please with Vanguard. Or even with people. <laughs> is that what you want? <laughs> what else is there to want? <laughs> For me, losing to you that day allowed me to discover a new part of myself. <laughs> but it made me realize something too. That if you want to change, Vanguard will show you the way. That's why I've been able to see a world that no one else can. I want you to see the same. This is what I want you to know. So please. I see. Attack all over A with the prime. I see you, baby. Then let me make a request of you. Show me that your words and your will are true. Just try and find a way to make me lose. He's got that evil aura behind him. I love to see it. I plan on it. This is the one fight that there's no way I'm losing. Damn it, she didn't say the she didn't say the, the true line. Yeah, we're close to hype train two on the Twitch. Let's get it. All right, the chat willed it. We have to go back to where we started. We started with Bav. We're gonna beat him with Bav. Unless we don't, in which case we're gonna switch to something else. We're going first. Alright, no trick moves, no spears. Panic. Trick moves and spear! No panic. Alright, these collective to make this fight extra hard. Ooh, we draw into the. That's like the first time I've drawn into the shield. I guess we just search out the sword then. Damn, there's a personal soundtrack for this? Oh my god, this has like a Blaze Blue track again. Damn, this is a good little track. This is a good little track. Alright, swirling. We swirling, we swirling. We're gonna take this. No problem. You can play a solid defense, he decks himself out. I see, I see, I see. Well, I'm looking forward to that. Oh, I don't have a trigger to block that swirler, so I hope I check one. Just one, just one, just one, just one. Otherwise, we're going to three. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. Alright, we'll have to take that. I don't have enough shield in hand. Ooh. Jesus, zero to three on turn one. Don't like that. I'm used to playing much more defensive decks right now. Oh, yeah, we need to ditch the shield. Stage that. Use a grade two. Get that back. 
think I have to contest the board a little bit. Otherwise, we're going to be in danger. Get rid of Swirler ASAP. Do not want to see that there. Put the crit in the rear. Not the Mooney boy. It's okay, we already have two Trick Moons at the ready, so we're fine on that front. Okay, Take Stat is going to take two damage. We're still in healer range, so that's fine. Gundan Rum. Followed by Crit. Cool. Get that out of there. Get that out of there. Power. Plus. Alright. At least this story has not had any crazy, like, that the twins from EX. Like, that was actually crazy. I never want to see that again. Swirler again. Jesus Christ. Okay, we can retire this whole front row. That's good. You have to go with this. Damn, this track is really nice. Extreme fight was a mistake, yeah. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna block this. Because my Fushimachi Monogle doesn't have extra power yet. Unfortunately. Okay, he doesn't actually check anything. Good, good, good. So we can allow that to hit so he soul charges and takes himself out, I guess. Ooh, swings in rear? Big brain? He doesn't want Swirler to die. That's annoying, actually. Sure. That's fine. So be it, so be it, so be it. I'm... Huh, why did he go rear there? That is very interesting. Why did he go rear there? That's very interesting. To guarantee a hit? He would have hit Vanguard, though. I would have just let him hit. You gotta let the homies with their tits out hit. That's just the rules. Alright, draw. Oh, we do another Trick Moon, nice. Let's do that. My hope the activates one is D skill. Well, I don't even know what this one, uh, what this D skill does. So I guess we're about to find out. Find out. CB. Oh. Yeah, this one. Confirm. Well, for now, let's just burn the front row. Choop. I would have liked to retire that Swirler, though, for sure. Maybe we just swing Vanguard and pass? Yeah, I think we do do that. I don't have any good board to make. Let's see. If he takes this, I might just be randomly over. <laughs> 48. He does take it. Alright. PG. That's important, that's important, that's important. Nice, it's gonna go to 5. That's decent. Even if he heals along the way now, we can kind of choke him at 4. Shwee! The saves I have on look super clean. Yeah, the team logo saves in this game are really tight. Alright, I'm happy that's out. I'm happy that's out. So he gets stuck at 4 now. So that's good. Get that OT out the way. Get those crits out the way. Please check them to your heart's content. I'm happy to see them. Happy to see them. Not that heal. That means he stays at 3, which is a bit annoying. But it's fine. We got the OT out. We got the OT out. That's what matters. Alright, here comes Fabernil. Fabernil! God damn, it's cool. So this retires my Trick Moon, right? Yeah. I need to open that Great 2 that lets me revive. Ooh, Time Jared is actually really annoying. Double. Crap. That means it restands, right? Yep. He restands. Sheesh! Sheesh! The freaking double Dark Strain? Not Dark Strain, Jesus Christ, though. Swirler. Oh my god. That's so annoying. Genuinely an annoying board. 
Is this a Deer Days card? Yes. Alright. I'm thinking... I'm thinking we take the first Vanguard Swing. Depends on if you boost or not. The shield's gonna put in a lot of work. Shield's gonna put in a lot of work here. Ooh. Hmm, how hard do you think they're gonna sack? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Half the triggers are still in deck. PG. His OT is out, so I don't have to PG. We can make this 38. Yeah, let's make this not pass. Okay, had a feeling. Gives it to rear, so that means I can take the Vanguard swing, which is nice, and then just PG the last one. Okay. Had a feeling. Had a feeling there. Sheesh, dude. <laughs> yeah, he sacks nice and hard. Alright, gonna restand. Oof. How much do you have to discard for that? Nothing? Crazy. This is one drive, right? Ah, not that. Wow, he actually doesn't discard. Pretty cool. Drive minus one. I'll take that then. Even if he crits me here. Nah, oh, that's fine. We'll just PG that last attack. Oof. Pretty scary, though. CB2 cheap cheap. I mean, when you can play Engraver and actually, like, you know... Use its counter charge skill. It's pretty good. 60. What is this? 66? 61. Alright, that's definitely getting perfect guarded. I kind of need to keep the trick one in hand, though. No guard. Three defense on the triple trigger. Yep. It's just another day. Another day in the life. Okay, just not idle. Oh, that hit with the, the drop. That's nice. Alright. The Vanguard's big enough already to get PG'd. So I'm gonna choose to commit the Trick Wound here. Not having a weapon here kind of hurts. I did it to myself, though. Ah, he PG'd it. This man's showing more than Mavsagaro. True. <laughs> Truge. Mm. I want to believe that he's going to guard this. Oh, this is rough. I want to believe that he's going to guard this. 58. I want to believe he's going to PG it. I think he'll take for CB2. Yes, he did. Damn it, you were right. I underestimated the AI. That's true, he does want the CB2, huh? I just thought he would have an engraver to refund it. That's why. Damn it, and two normal units in damage too? I just assumed that he would want engraver there. Okay, I'll let Trickman die so I can have the intercept. Damn, this has to have get power too, doesn't it? Oh crap, that retires. Damn, I'm in trouble, dude. This is my best bet. Two to pass. Yeah, you can craft Power Neil, but you get it for free. Come on, dude, don't be crazy. Okay, yeah, good, you're not crazy. Oof, thank god. Alright, here comes the restand. For CB2. 
31. I have two hitting Ks, we can go to 43. So this will not pass. He has to just not crit. If he crits, we're dead. Okay, we're alive. Cool, cool, cool. I need a weapon. Good god, do I need a weapon. I need a draw off of this damage, actually. I need a draw off of this damage. How are that? That spear in hand would have been really cool. Oh, the soul charges. Two, even. Ooh. -y. You might be out of crits, yeah. One, two, three. Four. Five. No, he's not out. Maybe in hand. <laughs> Look at all these swirlers go off. Travis, we don't need you right now, dude. Now he'll just get retired. Do I still have a team deck? I do. That is a bet. That is a bet. He's two to passing. Oh, is this D skill to make sure I don't check triggers? Yeah, it is. This asshole. Oh my god. Alright. This fight is rough. And he can just activate it when he wants to as well. That's so nasty. I hope he draws. I hope he just decks himself out. Oh, he's boosting. Oh, because he doesn't have the CB for it. It's gonna be close. If he checks triggers, I think we're dead. I can actually discard Travis here because I only have 10k shield. This basically doesn't gain power, so it's gonna be 21 at all times. So I'd rather Persona Ride, actually. If he doesn't check triggers. Oh, well, he does. Oh, if he checks double draw. If he checks double draw, that's a different question. No, he doesn't. Alright. Is Soul Charge 2 mandatory? Well... Hold up. Hold up. We can put that to the test. No guard? Let's see what happens. Over trigger check, that's what happens, baby! Get out of here, bro! <laughs> you activated the D skill at the wrong time, buddy. You activated that D skill at the wrong time. You activated that D skill at the wrong time, my friend. You shoulda waited. You shoulda waited. But you didn't. The on hit is a May. Oh, it is, huh? I wonder why he made it earlier then. Ha 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 ha. You dare turn off my triggers on attack? It doesn't matter, bro. Uke, cho, baby. Draw your last pathetic card, Kanji. It's over. No lose intended. First try, baby. First try. Sheesh. I lost? Impossible. I haven't lost. No, it can't be. This isn't happening. I didn't lose! I always win! Not anymore. You lost, Kanji. I'm gonna have you hide your tits now. Oh. Kanji. I'm sorry. I was afraid. You kept drifting further and further away from me. This is just... Kai and Ren from Season 1, by the way. In case you haven't caught on, like... I've been thinking this for a while, I didn't want to say it. But this is just... Kai and Ren. 
I thought that maybe we'd never be able to fight again. <laughs> I'm still waiting for you, okay? So if you ever feel like it, why don't we fight again? You must have felt so lonely, Kanji-san. That's what your vanguard showed me. But you're a loner, bro. You know, I was the same way too once. <laughs> you say kind, right? I say blue DF and abs. That's, that's, that's true too. I admit, always winning might be something incredible. But it also means never having anyone to compete against. Someone to compete against? Shopkeeper Kai and Streamer Ren, yeah. Isn't it lonely never having anyone you want to beat? You would have had that someone if only I didn't run. It's too late for that now. It's not too late. Banger is always there waiting for you. As long as it's what you want, what you wish for, you can always fight. Tell me I'm wrong. Yuki. Ichidochi Yuki. <laughs> Kai different fight blue hair edition and Ren with tits out edition. Streamer edition. This new world you've showed me, it's not half bad. Kanji. Kanji san. I suppose fights. Something great all along. A few days later. Oh, I'm getting so nervous. What for? Goset san? Yeah, I'm, I'm totally fine. Goset Goset san? Come on, relax. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, looks like he's here. Dot, dot. Kanji san? Hey, Kanji. What took you so long? Okay, this is where the legend of Masaru Kita begins. I'm going to overcome myself. This is where my dream of going pro starts. I'm going to spread my vanguard around the world. I'm not holding back, Kanji. You took the words right out of my mouth. Hey, Kanji. I've waited a long time for this. Ooh, so have I. I'm beating you this time, sis. Does it really matter either way? Just as long as you have Vanguard. <laughs> Yuki, you're right. Let's go, everyone. Stand up. Vanguard! Yay! Alright! And they lived happily ever after. Alright, that is it. That is Ichidoji Yuki's voice... Not voice, of uh, voice actor too, but the story. Nishioyuka, Inoue Marina, Marina, Oki Taiten, Haimi Shou, there we go. Yodo Suzuki, Kasuhira Tokishi. Trying to see. Oh, that's who Kuro is, right. Oh, we got the Overdress cast. Let's go! Hikaru, Tono Hikaru. So great. So great. Oh! Shinobu is in this too, huh? Nice. And the two large-chested men lived happily ever after. Nice. We get to see all the little CGs and the mid ride line. Ooh, production corporation, Vanguard team. Ryota Watanabe, Shinichi Taira, and Masatoshi Shimamura. So, Ryota Watanabe is the Japanese producer, Shinichi Taira is the English producer, and Shimamura is the creator of the game. He's like the creator of the Vanguard rules, is uh, Shimamura P. Very nice. Developer Land Cars Limited. So it's interesting. Land Cars developed the game. Where does Food You come into this? <laughs> Planners. Lead programmer. Just one lead programmer. And how many other programmers do we have in here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Damn, they work hard for this. Visual artists. Suzuki Nana. I, I, <laughs> I misread that. Five visual artists, two effect artists. Damn, Kenichiro Iwasaki. Give a big old thanks. The sound did a good job. Did a great job. Project management. Finished the game already, went to watch the World Cup and thought I'd catch the last part. Damn. Oh, did you go watch it live? Ooh, middleware. 
All right, scenario written by Ishino Atsuo. Graphics production by Kame. Two people on the Chibi Stop design. Graphics Corporation. Logo designers. Voice recording. Star Jam Corporate. Corporate. Corporaton. It's not Corporation, it's Corporaton. Director of Audiography. Sound Production. Recording Engineer. Come on, where's the localization team? Price of controversy aside, this felt like a nicely polished game. Yeah, honestly, it's it's really good. Cortex, you should play it eventually, man. You should play it eventually, man. Even in the credits? Yep. Tutorial AI and deck Kazuya Naka. Shoutouts to the AI programmer, dude. Alright, English localization. Kinsha Co Ltd. Look them up. Who is Kinsha Co Limited? So it's not Bush Road, actually. English localization. Co Ransom. Kevin Yuan. Daniel Veilleur. Bush Road Incorporated. Yosuke Oksa. Sandro Gomartelli. Bush Road International. Shane. Jimmy Tan. And Yukun. Oh, cool. It's cool to see names of people that I know. <laughs> the Debuggers. The Debug Squad. I mean, for the most part, the game was was pretty good. Ooh, special thanks to Knack! Look at that! Let's go, special thanks to Knack. Good stuff, good stuff. Promotion Cooperatio. Masahiro Onoda, Tomomi Echizen, Yuki Komatsu, Amitamura. Where's B? I have promotion. <laughs> I have promotion for this game. Executive producer Kidani, the god. Keen check out the English localization localizer for Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Oh, I see. Thank you for playing. We finished on Mop Sagara, nice. Does it finish on the ride line that you won the game with? I guess it does. That's nice. Alright. Got an achievement. Vanguard, huh? Let's eat lunch together, Iki. Hey, what's that? Nani? This? Something that shows me a new side of myself. Something like that. What's that mean? I want to try. Me too. Ooh, me too. What's it called anyway? Well... It's called Vanguard. We've all had this moment. We've all had this moment. Alright, there you go! This has been the story of Cockfight Vanguard. Dear days. There we go. Ichidoji Yuki. Ichidoji Yuki completed. And we got 10,000 VP to boot. Very cool. I wonder what happens when we go in here. Oh, it just restarts? Really? Skip fine tutorial. Oh, it really does just new game plus. But I'm assuming it lets us just kind of like skip into the other. Same as EX. Alright, so now we can do Ichidoji Rasen's story and switch around so that's cool so i'm assuming we can either do rasen story or choose to do the other folk oh yeah it does remove the other fights huh that's unfortunate i thought i could still fight them afterwards but oh well it is what it is i will get back to them eventually they only give cards that we can craft anyway so yes that was it that was ichidoji yuki's story a very very nice uh, story overall felt very much like season one of Vanguard, so I think it's a nice little story for sure You know nothing too crazy, but still an enjoyable ride so going forward very important question for the viewers now Would you like to see the other story modes in covered on YouTube or? Rather other stuff because I can upload them, but it all depends on the demand. I need to see a lot of demand I want to see the comments, you know like this video as well, let that be a metric for me as well. I want to see if people on YouTube want to see the other stories, and if so, I will record them and put them up, but if not, then no. And um, if anything, I might just like compile it all into one big one or something like that, so it's like each one is just like one big recording, and just kind of like run through them all at once. So the Twitch chat is saying yes, but also see what YouTube says once this is out. So very important question, let me know. But anyway, that'll be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the Yuki story as we take take a look at it on Dear Days and finally have wrapped it up. 
give a like to this video if you liked it. And of course, if you haven't already, please do subscribe. But otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.